Miss Montgomery? Yes? Are you trying to sneak into my classroom? No. <laughs> it looks to me like you are. Does it? Indubitably. Are you going to sit? Can I? Of course! Who am I to deny the youth of today a seat? What kind of person would be, I be if I let you crouch there? What kind of cruel person would I be if I made you squat there the whole entire class? Is that a yes? Sit. What time is it, Miss Montgomery? I don't know. Look at the clock. We have been provided with timepieces in every classroom. It's a new way for the future. The time, please. The clock? Look closer, Miss Montgomery. What time is it? 10.02. 10.02. Very precise. What made you think that you can waltz into my classroom at 10.02? I just wanted... You wanted? You wanted something? Someone called the press as a student wanted something. That certainly never happened before. Miss Nelson, if you would just let me... What time does class start? 10.15. Ooh, what was that? 10.15. Class starts at 10.15. Precisely. 10.15. Not 10. Not 10.02. Oh, but 10.15. Why are you here early? It's just that we're studying the Depression, and I think it's a really interesting time, so I wanted to come in early and ask you some questions. Are you telling me the reason you came to class early is because you're interested in learning? I didn't know that was wrong! Don't be smart with me. Are you trying to give your fellow students a bad name? No. No one comes to class early, and certainly no one asks questions. Haven't you seen them? Don't you know how you're supposed to act? Are you trying to make me, are you trying to give me a bad name? Make me look like I care about my students? You're a good teacher. What did you just say? You're a good teacher. Be quiet. You make history fun and exciting. Don't say that. And I know something else too. Stop, someone will hear you. This whole tough guy thing is a sham, an act. No. A sham, an act. No. A, li a lie. It is not. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You love teaching. Shut up, shut up. You love kids. Low blow, Miss Montgomery. Low blow. Try it. Just try it. I've seen you teach. You're the best teacher I've ever had, and I don't care who knows it. Miss Nelson. Stop it. Enough. Someone will hear you. Clearly looks like you have me up against an eight ball. What are your terms? Hmm. You let me come in early and ask questions. Too much. You ask for too much. And ask questions. Then I won't tell anyone what I know. I'll even throw in a few bad stories because I'm in a good mood. What about nicknames? Can't you spread some evil nickname about me where other students can hear? Now who's asking for too much? Please? Battle axe? Death breath? No neck Nelson? Alright, but I'm not doing the one about bad breath. That's just cruel. Deal? Deal.
Hey everyone, my name is Wilfred Ferguson and I am a 2016 FCHS Orchestra alumni. I now live in Los Angeles, California, where I am a viola fellow in the LA Orchestra Fellowship Program. Here in the LA Orchestra Fellowship Program, I get to play with the LA Chamber Orchestra. I study at the University of Southern California on a full ride, and I mentor the kids of the Inner City Youth Orchestra of LA. Before coming to LA, I did my undergrad studies at the Jacob School of Music at Indiana University. While doing my undergrad, I got to play in lots of orchestras. Um, I played in the Columbus Philharmonic, I played in the Columbus Symphony, the Owensboro Symphony, the Evansville Philharmonic, the Richmond Symphony Orchestra, and also got to play with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra once. Have a great Fine Arts Festival. Bye everyone.
want a love that's bigger than mine. If I found that guy, if I had that love, I'd let it set and fester in me until it corroded into a passion. I tell him I loved him since the sixth grade, when it was still cute for a girl to love so big. And he wouldn't lie to me. He'd only see me and my big love. I'm his first thought every morning and his last before he dreams of me. And he would know every spectrum of me. He would remember every breath I ever took before every word I spoke to him and every word after that. And he wouldn't give up on us because that would mean giving up on love. He'd be my best friend. What's up guys? My name is Trinity and I graduated from Fayette County with the class of 2019. I'm still involved with music today because quite simply it is my passion and it brings me so much joy. And I hope to give back to my community and spread joy to others through performing on my instrument. With that being said, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day.
Hey Tigers, I am Errol Roden III, a graduate from the class of 2018 at the Fayette County High School. I now currently attend the University of Southern California Storton School of Music, where I major in music performance. Um, I decided to stick with the arts and go through it through college because of the amazing, amazing opportunities you have um, sticking with the arts through college and through life. Um, I can become a performer, I can become a teacher, I can become an audio engineer, I can become a stagehand, I can become a conductor, I can become whatever it is that I want to do because of the different career opportunities that there are when you involve yourself in the arts. I've had a great time and you guys are having an amazing concert so far. Um, I'm loving hearing everything. So congratulations on finishing your fall semester and go Tigers!
just not coming in here from this morning? Yeah, I had to go to football practice. Yeah, what? Yes, sir. I ain't but two seconds off, you know it. The garbage in there overflowing, you ain't done none of your chores, and now you come in here talking about some, yeah. I was just getting ready to do my chores now, Pop. Your first chore is to help me with this fence here on Saturday. Now grab that saw and cut them boards. Your mama tells me you done got recruited by a college football team. Is that right? Yeah. Coach Delman said the recruiter's supposed to come by here this weekend. They should sign some permission papers. Aren't you supposed to be working down there at the A&P? Ain't you supposed to be working down there after school? Yeah, Mr. Stowicki is going to hold down my job until the end of the season. So I decided next week I can work weekends. Thought we had an understanding about this football stuff. You're supposed to hold down your job and keep up with your chores. You ain't been here all Saturday, your chores ain't done, and now you're telling me you done quit your job? I'm gonna be working weekends. I know you are, and it ain't no need for nobody to come around here to talk to me about signing for nothing. <laughs> Pop, you, you can't do that. He's coming all the way from North Carolina. I don't care where he's coming from. The white man ain't gonna let you know where with that football stuff no way. You go on, you get your book learning, and you work your way up at the A&P. Or fix cars, or build houses. You get yourself a trade. That way you got something can't nobody take away from you. You put your hands to some good use, besides hauling people's garbage. I get good grades, Pop. That's why the recruiter wants to talk to you. You have to get good grades to get recruited. This way, I'll go to college. I'll get a chance. First, you gotta get your butt down there to the A&P and get your job back. Mr. Stoicki did already hire somebody else because I told him I was playing football. You were a bigger fool than I thought. To let somebody take away your job? Oh wait, so you can play some football? Where you gonna get the money to take out that girlfriend and whatnot? What type of foolishness is that? To let somebody take away your job? I'm oh, gonna be working weekends. No, you're getting out of here and you're finding another job. Come on, Pop. I don't wanna hear it. You're getting out of here. Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Oh, what you want to ask me? Mrs. DeWicky the one you got all the questions for. How come you ain't never liked me? Liked you? Who says I got to like you? What law is there that say I got to like you? None. All right, then. Don't you eat every morning? Answer yeah. me! Yeah. Okay. You eat every morning? Yes, sir. You got clothes on your back? Yes, sir. Why do you think that is? Because of you? Oh, I know it's because of me. Why do you think that is? Because you like me. Because I like I get up every morning dealing with them folks because I like you? You're about the biggest fool I've never seen. I do it because it's my job. It's my responsibility. A man's got to take care of his family. You sleep in my house, on my sheets, and you fill up your stomach with my food because you're my son. Now let me nip this in the bud before I go any further. Mrs. Cole, don't give me money. Come pay that because he likes me. He gives it to me because he owes me. Now don't go about life worrying if somebody likes you or not. You need to be worrying about if they're doing right by you. You understand what I'm saying, son? Yes, sir. Get out of my face and get down to that a &P.
Hello, my name is Cooper Haywood and I'm a proud alum of Fayette County High School, class of 2013. I'm very thankful for the music education I received at Fayette County Schools and I'm very thankful for the amazing music educators I got to uh, learn from in my years at Fayette County High School. I hope that you will con consider doing music as well after you graduate high school. It's very important to keep doing something musical. Uh, I know a lot of people who graduate and they quit playing their instrument or they quit singing and they always regret it. So I hope that you will continue regardless of if you're in the marching band or if you're singing in one of the choirs. Please continue to do music after you graduate. It has shaped me to be who I am today and I don't know where I would be in my life without music. Thank you. 